Why does the European Union's chief of foreign policy say that Israel is using starvation as a weapon of war? Are you disagreeing with them? Are they wrong? Is the EU getting yeah, it wrong? Yes. The EU's lying. Yes. It's a disgrace. I'm a disgrace yeah, because. Absolutely, you're a disgrace. Why? Because I don't believe that children should be starved to death. Because I do you're not. You're siding with a terrorist organization. I am not siding with Hamas. Started a war that brought senseless suffering to both Israelis and Palestinians. I am not. I am not taking a side with you. I am simply. Israel, who is carrying out a genocide? There's no ge Israel's like you're absurd. There's no genocide? Over Gen genocide means people. the destruction of a people. And right. Genocide is the purposeful action to destroy in part or in whole a unique ethnic or religious or national group. Do you not believe that there is an attempt to commit there genocide? There is no genocide. Why, then, why did the International Court of Justice rule there's a plausible genocide going on? Do you at least believe there's a plausible genocide? Do you agree with them on that? There is no genocide. There, there's nothing. Okay. Yes or no? Are they starving to death? And well, if... Well, there are people who are starving because Hamas is stealing aid. Whoa! Yeah, so, so an organization with a total of thirty thousand people is stealing all the aid necessary for two point two million I'm people. Sorry, an organization of thirty thousand people. Yeah, thirty-five thousand people. That's the members of Hamas. Yeah, yeah. So, but then, why does the European Union's chief of foreign policy say that Israel is using starvation as a weapon of war? Are you disagreeing with them? Are they wrong? Is the EU getting yeah, it wrong? Yeah. The EU's lying. Yes. Yeah. Richie Torres office. Richie Torres, real quick, has over 700,000 people living in his district. He has taken, throughout his career, over a million dollars from pro-Israel lobby groups. He spends most of his time focusing on harassing college students who speak out for Palestine. He tweets all day and goes on speeches advocating for Israel and refuses to acknowledge the poverty that is going on in his own district. He actually has the poorest district in the country, hands down, out of over 430 districts. 32.1% of the individuals of his constituents in his district are below the poverty line. The national average is 12%. So that's more than double the national average. Research conducted by Adam Johnson at The Intercept found that in his public speeches, he mentioned Israel 337 times. He mentioned poverty 142 times. It's clear what Richie Torres prioritizes. It's Israel over his own people, over the poverty, and over improving his own district.